apologize to the individuals that I did harass and attack him. I always think about it even on a day-to-day -day basis. Meeting at his place of worship, a notorious convicted extremist now proclaiming his repentance. Somebody who makes a mistake never re recognize they make a mistake until they actually analyze what they've done after they've done it. Jordan Horner was part of a vigilante group called the Muslim Patrol. It's a Muslim era. Obviously, no alcohol is allowed in this area. My beliefs became more sort of I have to do physically, I have to physically implement my religion rather than practice it personally on a spiritual level, sort of propagate it and implement it on other individuals. Remove yourself away from the mosque. Go away from the mosque now. They walked the streets of East London trying to enforce Sharia law. Oh, that's when it become more of going out and stopping people drinking and stopping people holding hands and being outside the mosque dressed in certain ways. That's when it become more of the crime. Go away now. Don't come back. Harassing and intimidating, they abused people, even threatening violence. Vigilantes implementing Islam upon your own necks. The belief become stronger and then I was certain that that was correct. And I guess through sort of the internet, lectures online, reading certain books and learning from certain individuals. All of that collectively, the way it affected me was convinced me to sort of go out in public and do these things as a, as a propagation of my faith. Get out of here quicker then. Horner was jailed for 17 months after admitting assault and threatening behavior. Now I've moved away from that and, I'm, and I've studied my faith correctly that I understand these type of actions are completely incorrect. Do you feel ashamed of what you did? Of course, because I guess as a Muslim, my appearance would represent Islam. It's something that's always on my conscience. And even though you could say, even if they, those individuals did forgive me and forgive what I've done on the Muslim patrol and the drill road, I would still feel inside myself something that I've caused other Muslims harm. And my actions at large have caused, caused a lot of Islamophobia. So first things first is getting that target, touch, target. Since his release from prison, he's been working with Usman Raja from an intervention organization called the Unity Initiative. Now, do it again. And it was a slow process. It wasn't, I met him on Monday and by Friday I was working with him, you know. It wasn't like that. When he approached me with these teachings, all I had to do was basic research to understand that, yes, Islam is taught like this and, and the majority of Muslims don't believe what I did was correct. So then, like I said earlier, that I had to judge myself and question myself and say to myself, you know, is what I'm doing correct? And being here at a gym in Aldershot, a military town for Usman, it's another sign of Jordan's engagement within a multicultural society. It was definitely, um, I think, beneficial for myself as an individual to come to meet different people, people from different backgrounds, people that have not come from the same background as myself. They live different lives, they speak to different people, they live in a different, I guess, in a different environment to me. I live in London, this is outside London, it's a lot of different values, you could say. So it's very interesting for me to meet these people, speak to them, and get to know them more personally. But to get to this point, the Unity Initiative says it takes time. If you're changing someone's worldview and their perceptions, and taking them from this idea of themselves as separate part of a group, to understanding that they're part of the world, part of a community, and um, really that goes, that's the teaching of traditional Islam. And it's about theology, not martial arts. Usman says in the last six years, Unity have reformed over 20 convicted extremists. They think they're interpreting Islam, but they're really mistranslating because they're coming to it with a modern understanding of Arabic, which has nothing to do with the traditional analogous understanding. And they're coming with their, with their very modern viewpoint. Hence, you've got all of these political movement. Jordan claims his old ideology is abandoned and his new embraced simply that Islam means peace.